it's nice to see you again in this video so now i'm going to be showing you how hackers can manage to recover back your deleted data on your computer but before we start this video is strictly made for educational purposes only and all the testing shown in this video is performed in a controlled environment which is the virtual box on my local machine you shouldn't be attempted to try this on live machines without proper authorization so now as you already know we need to have a foothold to our machine for us to recover back any deleted data so here we need to craft up a payload with our msf console which i already did here i already have a payload which i submitted to my windows machine and downloaded it via a web server if you try to see here so the payload was downloaded since in this video i'm not demonstrating on how we can bypass our windows defender you see that i have the real-time protection turned off which means that our payload can execute without any problem so if we come back here i already also started my msf console in my terminal and here you see that we have a couple of exploits and post exploitation tools that we can use so here we are going to be using post exploitation tools i'm going to just open up another terminal and here i'm going to show you the command that i used to go on and create up a payload so this is the command that i used to go on and create up a payload whereby i used my ip or the linux ip on the l host and i provided the port so i'm going to just proceed and copy this payload that i used here with my ctrl shift c and come back here to my msf console so we need to go on and set up a listener i'm going to just say use we are going to use our exploit mode handler now this one we shall go on and we set up our l host and the payload so if you try to see here i've just said use exploit mode handler and it is set we are going to just set our payload you need to make sure that you set the payload that you created since i used the 64 bit payload it's done that i'm going to go on and set here so i'm going to just paste that now once that is done just proceed with setting your l host now this is the kali linux ip it should be similar to what you had set here i'm going to just go on and say 192.168.43 then dot 102 then you can also proceed to setting your L port. This is going to be the port that you'll be listening to. And in my command, I use 444. And if you try to see here, this is still the same port. Now, if I come back here and say set, you can simply type options or show options so that you can see what you've been setting. If you try to see here, this is our IP and this is our port. So I'm going to go on and say run or you can type exploit so that our listener is set. Now our remaining thing is to go on to our Windows machine and execute that. Now when the listener has been set successfully, we can come back here and execute this. Remember I told you since we end doing our bypassing Windows Defender, we need to have our real-time protection turned off. So I'm going to come back, it turned on again, I'm going to turn this off. Now there is a possibility that this payload was cleaned right away the moment this came back alive. So, but in case it was removed, we can proceed and download it again. I'm going to just come back here. Let's make sure that our listener has been set. And if we come back here to our Windows machine, I'm going to run my payload as an administrator. For this technique to work, you need to have an account with the upper privileges. In case your account does not have the upper privileges, you cannot recover back any deleted file on your computer. So all I'm going to do on this payload is to right click on it and run it as an administrator, which will mean that if we return back any listener here with our metapreter and we check the privileges, they are going to be having our upper privs. So my machine in the virtual box is a little bit slow. All I'm going to do is to just give it a few seconds so that we can proceed with running this. Or I can go back here to my browser. I do expect this payload was removed and I'm going to proceed with downloading a new one. So I'm going to come here to my browser and I need to provide the path. 
So all I'm going to do is to come back, click to this payload again. It will be downloaded, but as it is being downloaded, simply it's going to be stopped by the mark of the web, though we turned off our advance. And if you execute any application that was turned by the mark of the web, you need to have a smart screen if you are to execute that. So our payload soon is going to pop up. And if the item was removed, the name is going to be either payload.exe or it's going to be payload1.exe. Now, since our payload has been downloaded, I'm going to go on and run this as an administrator. So when I tap to that, all we have to do is to wait back for our listener here so that we receive a meetup session. But we should also expect to have a smart screen in our Windows machine since this was once stopped by the mark of the web. Now, when we get access to our machine, we can proceed to different post exploitation techniques. My machine is a bit slower in the virtual box. Now it's game over. You see that we do have a Metapita session here. Now we have access to our machine. I'm going to do this info and if I press enter, you see that we have our machine and they are telling us that this is a Windows 11 machine. So here we can proceed to putting this in the background and we proceed with different post exploitational techniques. So I'm going to say background, but before I put this to background, I'm going to just say get priv so that you can see that we do have upper privileges to this machine, which means we can proceed to recovering up data on our machine. But before we do that, you need to understand the drives which are present on our machine so that you can know specifically where you want to search your data. And now here I'm going to just proceed to my I'm going to put this to the background either you can press ctrl C or you can do background and press enter so they will be putting your metapita to background I messed up with the spelling and if I proceed with the enter you see that we do have our metapita in background and you can do sessions in case you want to call out your background or if you want to see your metapita session so this is it here in the background so now here we are going to say search what do we need to search for we need to search for any windows post exploitation technique so you can say post then slash windows since we are working on a windows machine here you just need to move to gather and uh, let's go to forensics forensics and uh, let me just press enter so if i executed that you see that we have six post expression techniques here but we also have uh, enum drives so i'm going to go on and say use five for enum drives if we are to recover files i'll be using one here so i'm going to just say use five if you want to know the drives which are present on your machine and here i can just say show options in case you want to know what you'll be setting so here you need to set the maximum drives and also the session so i'm going to go on and set the session to the session that we had saved in the background so it is session and i'm going to provide one so when that is done you can just say run so if we execute that, they will be returning back our drives. But of course, we can also get access to our Windows machine and we proceed with searching for drives manually. So you see here we have starting from A to F. I'm going to go on and check our F. We see how it will be. So here I'm going to first proceed again with session. I'm going to say sessions one to go back to my meterpreter. And I'm going to proceed with shell so that I can have a CMD in our meterpreter session. I'm going to go on and try my drive F to see if it is available and we can even try to create our files on it. Then later we can delete those files and see how we can recover them. Or we can search for any deleted data from this location. So we draft a session here to enter our F. You can just say F and a colon if i press enter then here we can proceed with dir you see that we do have this session here and we do have movie.txt this is a month 
but I think we can also check it here in our Windows machine graphically so that we can confirm that this F is present. So I'm going to click on this PC. My machine is a bit slow, but uh, as it is loading, we can come back here. Perhaps I can go on and create up a file here. I'm going to say echo this is me so i'm going to redirect this to a text file i'm going to say this one is going to be test12.txt so in case it is successful this text file is going to be created in our f now if we come back here to our windows machine and i open up my f drive i see it is just 5 mbs we are going to see whether we are going to have that test love.txt if you come here you see that we do have the movies and test the txt which is the one that i created the other side so i can proceed with removing this from the system and then later we try to recover those so here to remove a file in your cmd i'm going to just set dell let's proceed to removing this so this one is going to be test love.txt then i'm going to press enter then i'm going to also said Dell movies I think it was movies.txt and also press enter this will be removed and if we come back here to our Windows machine you see that all these files have been removed and when you look here in the recycle bin they do not exist which means they have been removed permanently so let's proceed with recovering back those files now to recover those files, I'm going to just say exit here so that we go back to our metapita and I'm going to put this in the background. Background, press enter. Now, since we used this, I'm going to go on and search for my post windows gather forensics. And if I press enter, this time we are going to use this one. Either I can say use one or you can copy that path and give it there so if i press enter you see that we have the session here so i'm going to also go on and say show options so that we can see what can we set here you see that here you can set the drive you can set the files and also the session so let's go on and first start with set session because we need to search for the files that were deleted and our session is going to be one and they will be searching it in f so we need to also go on and say set our drive this drive has to be f so if i proceed with my f and i can just say show options again you see that we do have our drive f and i'm going to say run now this can take some time to go on and search for all deleted data from your computer remember we deleted movies we deleted 12 of the txt you see that they are here in case they find back any data or any other files that were deleted from this partition still it is going to be returned back so here we are going to go on and recover this by just looking at their id now when you try to see this idea it is what we are going to go on and use to recover back our files so when you try to see it is done we have two files that were recovered back so let's go on and get these files and we save them so to get to these files i'm going to just go on and say set files if you remember here we had files so i'm going to just say set files then come and copy this id ctrl shift c and paste it there put a comma since there are two i'm going to go on and also copy this ctrl shift c and ctrl shift v so after setting our files i'm going to press enter then just say run again so when you try to see our files have been recovered back and they provide us with a path where these files were kept so i'm going to go on and move to this location or i can view these files from my terminal now let me go on and copy this path to this file I'm going to press ctrl shift c i can simply open up another terminal and 
paste that path there so since it is locally on my computer i can even use a text editor like cut to view the information so if i provide that path now when you try to see here it is in the path of msf console and in a folder for root this is where all your data if it is saved or if you download any files using our msf console that's where your files will be going so if i say cut you see that we have marvel i think this was the movie.txt and let's view another file which was 12.txt and i'm going to copy this path to again Ctrl shift c and let's come back this side and i'm going to say cut and we've pasted that you see that here we have this is me but of course you can move to the directory where these files are you see that here we successfully recovered back our deleted data from our windows machine now always when you delete information from your machine even though you delete it permanently it isn't 100 percent deleted we can use different tools in server security or even data forensics and your information can be returned back unless if you use softwares or tools like shred that will go on and delete your information and replace them with temporary files so here we successfully recovered back our data in case you want to see more videos like this please feel free to subscribe turn on the notifications icon so that you don't miss any of the videos that i'll be uploading have a great day peace